Today's video is brought to you by Wondershare. If you are looking to transfer the WhatsApp chats and data from iPhone to Android, then Dr. Phone WhatsApp Transfer would let you do it. Simply connect both iPhone and Android devices to PC or Mac, then choose source and destination. The source is going to be your iPhone and destination is going to be your Android smartphone. Then hit enter and follow on-screen instructions. So in a few minutes, you will see all the WhatsApp data on your iPhone will be restored in your Android smartphone. To know more, check the links in the description box down below. Hurry up right now, Christmas and New Year sale is going on and buy this software with 40% off. Hey what's up guys KSK here welcome back to another video. In this video I will be talking about what are the differences between the Pixel Experience ROM versus the Pixel 4 ROM and which one is better for you. You may have seen a video regarding these two ROMs on my channel now let's find out which one suits you to use it as a daily driver. Well the Pixel Experience ROM and Pixel 4 ROM are both different ROMs from different developers. Don't be confused these are two different ROMs. The main goal of these two ROMs is to provide a stock pick Pixel experience to your smartphone. Both ROMs come with the standard Pixel features like you get a Pixel launcher with Android 10 gestures out of the box. These navigation gestures of Android 10 work super good on both ROMs. There may be no lag or stutter you may encounter while using these navigation gestures. Now along with Pixel launcher, you get to see the latest live wallpapers which are pre-installed into the system. There are tons of live wallpapers which you may like it. Even you get the live wallpapers of older Pixel devices which I am super happy about it. Now apart from that when it comes to customization, both ROMs offers minimal customization in your smartphone. Unlike other ROMs like Havoc OS, Evolution X, Pixel ROMs own provide heavy customization which is sort of bummer. Now speaking about the differences between these two ROMs, the Pixel ROM offers all the Pixel 4 features which are pre-cooked into the system. These features include the latest Google Assistant which you won't find it in standard Pixel Experience ROM. The all new Google Assistant is more intelligent than the previous generation. According to Google, the all new Assistant uses a three complex algorithms to understand, predict and act upon what you're saying, which requires a hundred gigabytes of data storage and a network connection to operate. Next up, the live captions. Well, this feature is only available in Pixel 4 ROM, which lets you preview the live captions from a video or audio. This feature can be accessed by triggering the volume buttons. From here, you can simply tap on the icon to enable the live captions. But keep in mind, this will draw over other applications to preview the live captions from the content. Let's say if you're watching a video from YouTube or listening to music, the live captions will automatically transcribe for you, which I feel is stupendous. Now, live captions will automatically be triggered whenever it encounters any speech from the applications. Now, talking about cameras, the Pixel Experience ROM comes with a standard camera that offers a few features. On the other hand, the Pixel 4 ROM ROM comes with a Gcam 7 out of the box. The all new Gcam lets you shoot high quality pictures and videos of up to 4K at 30 frames per second. Some of the features that this Gcam 7 includes are time lapse, portraits, a slow motion, Google Lens, and night sight. I don't know why the Pixel Experience ROM developers are not including the Gcam 7, but don't worry, you can sideload an APK and get started using Gcam 7. Now when it comes to screen recording, both ROMs are lacking of this feature. I seriously don't know why it won't work properly even if you install an APK. Hopefully in the next build we will see this feature. Now when it comes to basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, VoLTE, Wi-Fi hotspot, UPI applications, fingerprints, works fine without any issues. Now that being said, these are some of the differences between these two ROMs. Apart from that when it comes to performance, I would say both ROMs perform well in real life, but for gaming, I will definitely pick a Pixel 4 ROM which gives it more extra frames and lag free gaming. Also in the recent versions of Pixel Experience ROM, the gaming seems to be improved to some extent but if you ask me which one to pick for gaming, I would choose a Pixel 4 ROM over Pixel Experience. Now, lastly talking about the battery, both ROMs offers a decent battery life but I would say Pixel 4 ROM is amazing in terms of battery life when you compare with the Pixel Experience ROM. Now let's talk about the downsides. Number one, encryption. The Pixel 4 ROM is having a serious encryption issues. Every time when flashing the Pixel ROM, you may need to wipe the internal storage to remove encryption. On the other hand, Pixel Experience ROM is far more superior than Pixel 4 ROM in terms of encryption handling. You don't have to wipe the internal storage when updating the ROM. Number two, software updates. 100% Pixel Experience ROM gets a monthly software update, which includes system updates and security patches. 
this when it comes to pixel for rom i seriously don't know if this rom gets ota updates or not i'm quite skeptical that this rom may or may not gonna get monthly security patches and software updates that doesn't mean you cannot use it as a daily driver again it completely depends upon the developer so the bottom line of this video, it's up to you guys to choose a which one suits your requirements. If you ask me, I would pick a standard Pixel Experience ROM. I really don't care about the gaming. Since the Pixel Experience ROM has a great support across the community, every single month we get to see the latest software updates and security patches. I'm not saying Pixel 4 ROM is bad. It's a much better performer than Pixel Experience. Sadly, the encryption issues on the Pixel 4 ROM bothers me so much that led me to stick with Pixel Experience. So what do you guys think about it. So let me know in the comments down below. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you like this video So if you do hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified Whenever I post a new video. So thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. Peace out